Hello guys, today I'll give you a quick walkthrough of our platform e-commerce. But before we start, let me give you a quick heads up about its business model, revenue model and stakeholders or you can say various user types. So the business model of this platform is e-commerce, an online store. The site owner is earning commission as revenue using this platform. This platform has three user types called buyer, seller and admin. Here buyer can able to search various products, can able to like and comment on the products, can view the product details and also can able to purchase the products. For sellers, sellers are able to list their products and also able to manage their orders. For admin, admin will be able to manage the entire platform. Now let's move on to the environment. For buyer, this platform is having an app environment to perform buyer specific operations. For seller, this platform is also having an app environment to perform seller specific operations. And for admin, this platform is having web environment to perform management specific operations. So now I hope that you guys have basic idea about this platform and all over the concept. Now let's take a quick drive in this platform. Hello guys, welcome to this video where we will be explaining the e-commerce platform. This is the admin panel of an e-commerce platform that we had built and uh, this video will guide you with all the sections, all the features that an admin can see uh, in his or her e-commerce platform. Let's get started. So uh, there are the statistics for total users and products, the recent orders and the recent products that have been registered on the platform. Uh, admin can also see the daily reports from here. Then when you click on the users section uh, on the left panel, you can check uh, the new users who've been added to the platform who have registered on your platform as a seller. And uh, in there, you can also check the individual details like uh, the actions, the, his name, the seller's post, the seller's followers, followings, the next menu on the section is product attributes under which you can check all the categories, subcategories, colors and the size management details. On clicking category section, the admin can check the new categories. The admin also has the rights to add new categories on the e-commerce platform. By clicking the subcategories, an admin can create a new subcategory under a category that he or the seller has created and then add the names accordingly. Under the colors management section, the admin can check the ID of the products along with the color names and the color codes. Also the status, he can check all the entries over here. And under the sites management section, the admin can check the sizes of every product in every category and subcategory added on the panel. On clicking the product management menu, an admin can view the details of every product that the front end sellers have registered on the platform. This includes the details of product name, seller name, brand name, original prices, selling prices and under which category they have been registered. The seller can also perform the operation of looking at every minute detail of the product by clicking on the actions column. This includes the sizes, quantity and the likes and comments that the product has received on this platform. Next on the menu is order management. Under order management section, the admin can view the status and track the order's uh, status. For example, it can be either in the pending stage or the order payment has been completed or it is in transit. We can also perform the operation of viewing whether the order was rejected or whether the order was successfully delivered. The next module on this e-commerce platform is very unique, which is the offer management. Under offer management, the admin can view every single offer that has been made by the buyer as a counter of the original price kept by the seller. The uh, seller can either put it in under the pending status or under the accepted status. The next one is referral management wherein the admin can uh, float offers and discounts. Either it can be a flat discount or via a percentage discount for the buyers. The next module on this admin panel is the transaction history. 
the admin can view the transaction status of every uh, amount that has been credited to the seller up next is the discount section so over here the admin can float discounts for buyers directly and buyers can enjoy the benefits of the same via the coupon codes and uh, over here you can also see that the admin can set up the type and the amount of discount that he wants to give to the buyers up next is the contact us section so this is basically a form that is visible on the front end of the platform wherein the buyers can directly reach out for any of the feedback that they want to give regarding the e-commerce platform to the admin. Lastly, there is the CMS which is totally under the control of the admin. Uh, so all the three categories that you can see, terms and conditions, privacy and policy and the about us section can be directly controlled and edited by the admin. The next menu is the configurations. In configurations, first comes the notification management, which are some of the very general notifications that can be sent as push notifs to the users. Also, there is an option for the admin to create or add any new notification as and when required. Up next is the app version under the configuration section wherein uh, whenever there's a new update, the admin can make it either a force update or give an option to the users to update later. Next are the in general settings under the configurations, which are the site wide basic information for the e-commerce platforms, Twitter or Facebook or, or all other website information. Next comes the Stripe management, which is the payment gateway module. And uh, this uh, enables either keeping the Stripe bank detail activation off or on for the users. Also, this uses the split payment module in which uh, the benefits are received by the admin and the sellers. Lastly, there's an FAQs section, which can be the basic general questions that any user would have regarding the e-commerce platform. The admin has whole and sole right to edit these questions and they will be immediately reflected on the front end. So that was the dashboard of our e-commerce platform admin panel. In this video, we will be viewing how the seller panel looks of an e-commerce application. So, the seller can have his own profile wherein he can add products and those products will be visible to the buyers and they can place orders for whichever product they like the most. From the settings panel itself, the seller can operate, manage and control the entire profile and inventory. This is the key feature of the e-commerce platform. Up next, you can see in front of you the settings screen which has been divided into main settings like the shipping addresses, wallet, bank details, the liked products, bundle products, your offers, drafts, become a verified boutique and the password details. Also, this section has the details for refund requests and refer and on. From the add products section, the seller can add the product details which includes adding the photos, adding the product details and adding some additional product details. He can attach the pictures from his own gallery or can take real-time photos via the camera. They can crop the images and set it. Under the product name section, the seller can mention what the product is. If it is a branded product, the seller can also mention the brand's name and can give a short description of the product also. Under the additional product details, the seller can mention the category of the target audience or the buyers, which is that sari is meant for women, subcategory, the color of the product and the fabric material of the product. The seller can also play around with the sizes and quantity of the product available. The inventory management can take place right from this panel. The seller can then set the original price of the product, the price at which he's going to list the product at, any discount if he's offering and what he'll be earning out of it. He can also mention details about the condition of the product, whether it is a very new product or it is a used product and so on. 
Was the product previously altered or not? Details can also be added here. And for better reach and more buyers to come across the product, the seller can also add some tags. By hitting publish, the product will be live, it will be ready for sale and it will be visible to the feed of the buyers. That's it. That's how the seller's panel works in an e-commerce platform. In this video, we will be viewing how the buyer's panel works in an e-commerce platform. After registration, the buyer can check out various products listed which he can, uh, which he can see on his feed. Once the buyer likes a particular product, he or she can enter and view more product details. There's also a search bar wherein the buyer can look for a particular item by typing its name. The search results will appear in front of the screen and the buyer can view more details about the product. This includes everything, the color of the product, the fabric material of the product, uh, how new is the product and also the price details. The ratings and reviews of other customers who have purchased the same product can also be seen over here so the buyer can compare. After selecting the size and the quantity, buyer can add a product to the cart. If he or she is eligible for a particular discount coupon or an offer, he or she can apply the same and enjoy the benefit of discount. Then the buyer can add the address, either select an address which is already existing or create a new one, add a new one. And after, after verifying all the details, he or she can check out finally. For checking out, he or she can now check what is the method of payment which is more suitable. In case he or she selects the card, the details can be entered and the checkout can be done accordingly. Once the app shows that the payment has been completed and the order gets confirmed, the buyer can either further choose to continue shopping and scroll the feed for more and he will also receive the tracking updates of the order that he has just placed. The order summary. That's it. That's how the buyer's panel works in an e-commerce platform. So guys, this is all about the core features of our platform. Other than that, there are many advanced features like referrals, coupon code management, shipping via third party, multi-currency, multi-languages, etc. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please get in touch with us to discuss more in a brief.